Hi, it's Brooke, and I'm going to be participating in my Everyday Wife Life's Summer One Box Challenge. I did the Spring Challenge, and I can link that video down below. And then this is the Summer One Box Challenge, and so she'll have a playlist, and I'll link her channel and the playlist down below. And make sure you go check out all the playlists. It's so fun how people declutter and how they're sharing what they're decluttering with you and how big or small or how much of their box they fill up. So I've been kind of collecting since spring. After I did that last challenge, I just kept a box out and just kept kind of filling it up. So it's going to be a little different than that last video. So I've been kind of collecting it and it's just sitting behind me here on my bed. And so let's get to the declutter. So the first thing that kind of started all this for me in the spring was this big basket. My mom filled that with stuff for us for Easter and I'm like, mom, I don't need a basket she's like well it's just a hand-me-down I go well it's gonna be my declutter box then mom and she's like it's fine by me and so she had like random things in there like this old Easter egg thing that she would fill with candy for us for my sister and I when we were kids and we'd have to like find it and I'm like mom I don't need a giant egg I have like a hundred plastic eggs <laughs> boys find that's plenty so we are going to declutter this what else did she send my way I think that's it from her it was springtime and Easter like I said and I haven't used this Easter stuff for ever so I'm just gonna donate it I have a couple Easter baskets I'm gonna donate because the boys have like plastic ones and then really big ones and I just don't like them anymore so we'll declutter those they're almost getting too big for an Easter basket but if you watched my Easter decor Haul. When I was putting away my other Easter stuff, I did decide to declutter this basket, which I was kind of sad about, but I just haven't used it in so many years, and I didn't find a spot this year, so it just, I didn't have the space, it's just gonna have to go. I also have a big old bag of the little Easter plastic eggs that somebody else can use. I use the bigger ones for the boys to fill. These are gonna go, I have enough just like other eggs. And I did to decide to declutter my Easter wreath. I just wasn't feeling it on my door this year. Didn't look as good with the yellow. I just want to get something different for next year so I am going to declutter that. And I've tried to sell wreaths on Facebook Marketplace and it's just easier for me to declutter them. And then I did find another wreath to, wreath to declutter. I've decluttered a lot of wreaths and this is just what I made. I went on a spree and made like a gazillion in one wreath and I've decluttered most of them. For me sometimes just making things are the fun part and then I use it for a while and then I just declutter it. That's just kind of how I do it and so that's getting full um a few other home decor I have two sets of these am I using the other set I think I like the other set better or something or it fit better but I don't need two sets so I'm gonna declutter this one set and it has you know small medium large I never have very good luck selling home decor on Facebook so we are just going to declutter the thing I have luck with selling is my boys clothes so usually that's what I focus on to sell on Facebook marketplace and then the rest I just clutter along the home decor lines I cleaned out our mugs so I have these mugs from Target and we've been getting bigger mugs these are kind of small so and we've been getting a few more Ray Dunn mugs what we just like the size of those and I just like the Ray Dunn so I am gonna declutter four mugs I have these two also some other kind of household things this is filled with light bulbs we changed out all of our light bulbs to the Edison bulbs when I was like painting and everything I showed you all of our new lights so this is just a bag of these like LED and then we just had so many. So I just kind of picked out the oddballs and put them in a bag here. And Goodwill can either keep them and use them. I don't know how that works or try to sell them or whatever. But they're good bulbs because we barely used them. And the LEDs last forever. So hopefully somebody can get some use out of those. My husband got a Keurig a couple Christmases ago. So we have this four cup coffee maker. And there's some filters in here. And he was just using it for camping because we had extra coffee grounds. But then this year I was like, do I need to buy a whole bag of coffee? coffee grounds just so you can use for a few camping trips or what and he's like oh I didn't think of that so we just packed this Keurig this time in some pods and that was super simple so I am gonna donate my little coffee pot here 
it still works like a champ as far as we know from last summer so hopefully somebody who wants just a nice little coffee pot can have it and then I have a variety of like Walmart will give me free little gift bags when I do pick up sometimes I got this and I ordered some makeup erasers and then these I got when I ordered some dog leashes and they're just little like drawstring bags and I have so many bags that I just usually donate some of these when I get them if I have no purpose for them because I just don't need them sitting at my house and I have tons of reusable bags and for me this is so little like if the kids took their lunch or something but they don't so that goes in there oh another thing of home decor my brother made me these and I had them on the wall opposite of me like by the door which you've probably seen in some of my videos if you've watched my makeover video you know this is all different so I asked my mom if she wanted them she said no and she asked my brother and he's like you can donate them Brooke I'm fine with that but I used them for a really long time down here so hopefully somebody else can get some love out of them and then I also got some this with some makeup wipes or not makeup wipes just like facial wipes and it's yes to watermelon super fresh gel moisturizer I have other moisturizers I like like this came free from Grove when I ordered them and I just I feel like somebody else will get better use out of them. They've never been touched. They've never been used. So hopefully they can sell these or give them out. I don't know how they do all that. And then I did use a couple out of here of these like little sponges. And I'm just not a big fan of the Real Techniques sponges. And then I just have a bigger one I use. I bought these when I first started using sponges and was just using them like on my eye. And I kind of have a different routine now. So hopefully somebody else can enjoy those. And then Nick got some new slides. He got these Amazon Essential slides slides. He just really loves them. My mom got him these forever ago so he has gotten some use out of them but they're just not like his favorite. He likes those other ones better so they're still in really good shape so hopefully these will go to somebody who needs some nice slides and isn't as fussy as my husband. This is super random but Lincoln had a birthday party one year and we played party games and we did the like strap the shoebox to your back and you gotta like shake the ping pong balls out of it. So I ended up buying this like giant bag of ping pong balls. There's 144 ping pong balls in here. It was super cheap on Amazon. It was fun for the thing. I thought we would keep it if we would need it again for a game and we just haven't used it in several years. So somebody who is really into beer pong or has a ping pong table, these will hopefully get a good deal on those. They don't need to be sitting around in my house anymore. When I took off all the light covers um, and light switch covers down here, the outlets from when I changed them and I painted the almond cover, they were all in really good shape still just because they're not like used as much down here. So I just threw them in a baggy I thought maybe somebody could use them that has the almond ones or like if you do rentals that might be like a good thing to have so I just thought I'd throw that in there I finally decluttered these white bags that I've had since the boys have been super itty bitty we just don't use them I'm sure I'll declutter these and the kids would be like hey you got a white paper sack for something but it's just they're taking up space and I just need to move them along to somebody else I did declutter my books a little bit I bought this for like decor book and then I thought maybe I would read it. It's um, Millie's book. It's um, Barbara Bush's dog. Um, not is it Barbara? It's the first scene um, George Bush Sr.'s wife and then their dog. But I just decided not to use it. I also got this for like decor and I just haven't used the black. And then I picked this up for like a fun cookbook and it's kind of weird and I don't like it so I'm just gonna donate it. I don't need to worry about trying to use weird recipes when I have a bunch of other good recipes that I like to use. And then out of my stash of books I just have some romance novels and then I had picked this up used I think. And then I have gotten this like forever ago fun on the run and it was a super fun book and I would carry it in my purse and we never end up using it. The boys are teenagers now and they have phones so I don't think I need a fun on the run book so maybe somebody else will enjoy that and then now I have some of my clothes here we have what is called the second chance prom here in town and it's a fundraiser for a cancer foundation and I went one year and they have different themes or then they just have like where you just wear like prom bridesmaid kind of wear so this is one of those dresses and I think I got it like on the clearance rack at our local bridal shop for 20 bucks but somebody else can use that for second chance prom this year and then I just have a bunch of random t-shirts tank tops that I use for like jam that don't really like these are v-necks and I get super sweaty TMI so I don't like to wear the v-neck like to wear the crew necks that like sop up the sweat more so I just decluttered some old jammy shirts that I don't 
I don't know if I should throw those away or if I should donate them. You let me know down below what you usually do with that. I feel like maybe somebody could use it for something, but sometimes Goodwill charges so much for like a shirt that I don't know. So you let me know what's maybe the best way to declutter things like that that really aren't super special anymore. I have some shirts from the boys and pillowcase from Lincoln's Vikings bedding. We just used the fitted sheet for camping. Oh, I have a few more of the boys' things I was going through, which if you watched my last vlog, I kind of showed you I was going through all their clothes and setting it up to sell it. And I sold a good chunk already. Some of it's just not worth selling. So I think I do have a few more things I could declutter in here. So this is just a bag of random socks. They're all, they're socks. So I don't know. Um, I kept the like nicer ones to try to sell but these are just the little like kind of more randomy ones I pulled out some random like hats and mittens and gloves that they had I've tried to sell actually and they just haven't sold and then all these shirts don't have tags on them so I really wasn't sure what size so I just have like a bunch of random shirts from the boys that don't have any tags and then I also have this really nice like zip up sweatshirt and I don't know what size it is I could probably figure it out but I figure we'll let the people at Goodwill figure it out or guesstimate, right? So, and I've tried to sell zip up sweatshirts like that before, and they don't. They're not the best sellers, so I figured I'll just donate that. And then, what else do I got back here? Oh, I used to use this trimmer thing, you know, with the handle. And then I wouldn't tape, and I made an absolute mess in the entryway when I first started painting the upstairs white. And so now I've just been having my husband tape it, and then I just paint it. And that's worked a lot better. He does have to go in and touch up for me sometimes, especially if I do, like, the corners and the sides where it's, like, two different colors. I think I'm just going to get some frog tape to do like the sides or if I do this ceiling, just spend that little extra more money on the like really like good non seep through tape and I'm going to donate this. Last time I used one of this the refills to paint behind the toilet when I did the bathrooms but I have no plans to paint behind a toilet anytime soon so I am just gonna donate all of this so hopefully somebody that has a steadier hand than I do will get some use out of that. My husband can use it well but he tries to do a least amount of painting as possible which I'm perfectly fine with so that's gonna go in there and then behind me here I have all the baby hangers that I use for the boys and I thought about selling them but I'm like what am I gonna get for it like three dollars and I just feel if you're not gonna get like over five or something I just don't want to sell it on Facebook and deal with like the hassle so these are going to be donated I have three kind of boxes full I have a few more things so this is one of the pieces of artwork that was in here. These postcards do come out so whoever wants to mess with it sure can. I feel like picture frames don't sell well. And then I had these in the corner and these are just those little window panels from Target and I have no use for them. I don't know where else I'd use them in the house so we're going to say goodbye. And then I have this photo frame and then this picture does come out but I don't have a use for this either so we're going to say goodbye to that. So I just went through what I posted to sell. These didn't sell. Life is Megan says if you post it for like three-ish days and it doesn't sell, then you should just let it go from your life. And I agree with that. That has been 10 times better for me than just to trying to keep selling it. There's a pack of white t-shirt and then some shorts. Those didn't sell here. They're going bye-bye. I just found these and the boys' stuff. One pair of sunglasses. We'll just put that in there. And then I also did try to sell some greenery here. And these are just the little ones from Target that I had up in the kitchen forever. And I've switched that out. So I have two of them. We're going to donate those. This is from Target and it's Threshold. And the fiddle leaf fig, like everybody loves. And I saw somebody put this in like a bigger pot and it looked really cool. So I like want to keep it because it's like the fiddle leaf fig. And that's just like popular, trendy kind of plant, right? now but I just every time I put this on a shelf I don't so it's just gonna go bye bye. And then this I bought for this room, um, I think at Kirkland's and it served its purpose. I don't need it anymore. It's not kind of like the style in here. So I'm okay to let that one go. And then this one I also got at Kirkland's. It finally doesn't smell like Kirkland's anymore. And it was just one of those things I saw in the store and I'm like, oh, the like coloring the terracotta and then I never like it anywhere. 
So it's just time to let go. It's just time to let go. And I've went through pretty much everything else in the house, but I always will find more. I'm sure in the fall I'll have more things from like the boys' summer stuff that didn't sell or just like my stuff or things like that. But I have filled up two. Well, I should put these in here. I filled up this box and then that basket and another box. And I have one other item I'm going to show you. So I'm going to set these down on the ground and show you how full they are. And then I'll go show you my one other item. Item. So here's the three boxes and the big basket all nice and full of stuff and then mostly like the clothes and all that in there. So that's all going to be loaded up here in the van and I'll show you the last thing that I'll be donating. So this is the last thing I'm going to donate. It is a stocking holder I made out of wood fencing stuff. We have six now. If you watched my mantle decorate with me I got new stocking holders for the mantle and put all of our stockings on there. So I should have tried to sell this at Christmas time but it was just shoved in our our little um, sump pump room or whatever and so I'm just gonna load it in the van and take it to Goodwill. Well thank you for coming along on this journey with me of decluttering. I will probably do the same for next time and just kind of make a pile as I go or maybe we'll just go through it again like we did in the first one. You just never know what's gonna happen around here so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you go check out my everyday wife life's um, one box challenge and go check out all the other ones on the playlist and I'm excited. I I love to watch people declutter. That's one of my favorite things to watch. And that's all I got for you. So hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.